Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Nabrik. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 17 of 2017 specifying the term and conditions for appointment of members of the National Institution of Human Rights, the NIHR Board of Commissioners. To ensure the Board of Commissioners' independence, a member must satisfy the following terms and conditions in addition to the provisions of Article 4 of Law 226 of 2014 not to be affiliated with any political society apart from members of the legislator who are entitled to discussion without any voting right, a holder of high education qualification and speaks at least one of the UN's official languages in addition to Arabic. If nominated for full-time membership, at least two years have elapsed as a member if nominated by a civil society, vocational or trade organization. At least an assistant professor if nominated by an academic institution have substantial clear contributions in the field of human rights the board of uh, commissioners must represent the whole spectrum of the society without any discrimination on the basis of gender ethnicity creed or disability women and minorities must be represented appropriately the broad range of nominees must include a sufficient number of specialists in the fields of law human rights uh, that constitute the core of NIHR's work, conflict of interest, whether direct or indirect, is prohibited. The Royal Courts Minister will uh, conduct uh, the necessary consultations to nominate the names of full-time and part-time members to the Board of Commissioners, according to the Royal Order. Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF uh, Field uh, Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa witnessed today the graduation ceremony for one of the mobilization units at the BDF uh, Royal Training uh, Center. Upon arrival, BDF's Commander-in-Chief was welcomed by Defense Minister Lieutenant General uh, Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi, Defense uh, Ministry Under Secretary Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Ali Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officers. The ceremony uh, commenced with playing the BDF's Commander-in-Chief Anthem, which uh, he followed by inspecting the Honor Guards. After reciting verses from the Holy Quran, the BDF Royal Training Center Warden delivered a welcome speech in which he expressed his deep thanks to the Commander-in-Chief for his support of the ceremony, as well as the continuous care the Royal Training Center receives that contributed to the center's development. The BDF's Commander-in-Chief said that the high results achieved by the graduates is testimony of their sincere efforts exerted in the training fields. He instructed the graduates to continuing their education pursuits and take advantage of the specialized training programs offered by the Bahrain Defense Force. He also expressed his pleasure to be present at one of the most advanced training sites, affirming that the cadets uh, should utilize the knowledge and skills gained in the program to further develop their abilities in order to uphold their sacred duty of defense the country. The BDF's commander-in-chief then uh, distributed uh, certificates and awards to the cadets as he congratulated them for completing this advanced program.
National Guard President His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa launched today Phase 2 of the Technical Services Center. Present were the Director of Staff Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, Unit Commanders and Senior Officers. His Highness the National Guard President highlighted the continued modernization and development of all National Guard facilities and units, adding that the National Guard has accomplished remarkable achievements in various military and administrative fields. After the ceremony, His Highness toured the center, which was built up to highest specifications and standards to ensure providing top quality services. The commander of the center briefed the audience on the center and its services. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed commended the development of the technical services in the light of the five-year plan 2020 and expressed thanks and appreciation to all organizers who contributed to making this achievement. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the 2017 Middle East Oil and Gas Show and Conference, which was opened on the 6th of March in parallel to an exhibition, comes to an end today. Having played a vital role in the development and sharing of exploration and production expertise in the region. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The MIAS 2017 conference and exhibition attracted over 8,000 oil and gas professionals at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center, showcasing specialized businesses and some of the oil and gas industry's largest corporations to debate and shape the future of the oil and gas industry in the region. Since it started to now, each year, the amount of papers that's been presented here and the panels is going higher. The number of the companies international that they are coming here and sponsoring with us is increasing the exhibitors are increasing so it's very important since the Gulf area here now is a producer so people will know the world will know what we can do here in the Middle East our participation is very important to represent not only the region but allows us to interact with many other upstream operators and uh, technical service providers I mean our interest is to produce more oil at a lower cost, and knowledge sharing is always a critical part of that. Exhibitors included GCC National Oil and Gas Companies, alongside international super majors, service industry giants, and independent specialist suppliers and distributors from across the globe. We've been supporting MIOS for like 15 years, and uh, the reason we're here is to show our products that we have. We have our main customer in Bahrain, which is Tatweer and Babco. We, uh, throughout the GCC and the worldwide, we have all the team, technical team that comes here, and we present our equipment and services that we do for uh, our customers. We take uh, MIOS and other conventions in the regions as a, a stand. As you see, we have a bigger, one big uh, booth here to, to demonstrate what we can do. And we, uh, we're looking forward to all participation among everybody. We think we, we have a unique opportunity by providing a solution to the regional problems that goes uh, across the borders from country to country. The three-day exhibition of oil and gas products and services featured over 200 exhibitors from 25 countries and covers all areas of the upstream industry, including exploration, production, transportation and processing of oil and natural gas. The MIOS 2017 show and conference was a definite success and continues to build in successful interactions between technical and industry leaders in the region. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.